least looked on course to maintain their advantage at the top of the table when Alsan Plea headed home after 11 minutes. But despite his eighth of the season, the 23-year-old was guilty of passing up numerous opportunities to seal three points. Instead, Bastia snapped a run of five straight away defeats. Enzo Crivelli earning the course against a vital point at the home of the league leaders. That result would have been celebrated by Monaco, who had piled the pressure on their southern neighbours on Saturday. Gabriel Barcilla's stunning free kick put them ahead against Marseille. Valier Germain then took centre stage as the top scoring side in Europe continued their goal scoring form. A smart near post header beating Johan Pelle comfortably. The striker then grabbed his second and his fifth goal in five appearances when he's faced OM, his favourite victim. Marseille offered little as their lack of defensive discipline let Monaco in again. Germain denied a first ever hat trick. But Guido Carrillo was on hand to head home and round off an emphatic 4 0 win. Champions PSG knew a win was the only option against Lyon on Sunday night, and when Thiago Motta was felled by Maxime Gonanon, he had the perfect opportunity to forge ahead. Edison Cavani made no mistake from the spot. The league's top scorers, 12th of the season. But Lyon were a different beast after the interval. Matteo Valbuena sent the park OL wild with a stunning hit after Rafael had hit the post. An instant impact, scoring three minutes after being introduced at half-time. It appeared for a time as if the hosts would find a winner, but they were sucker-punched eight minutes from time. Cavani with the final word. His 13th league strike at 12 appearances, bringing PSG's first win here in three and a half years. Rennes didn't hang around against Toulouse on Friday night. Great work from Paul George in Tep. Eventually saw him slip in Johan Gurkuf. And he found the net just 42 seconds in. Toulouse never recovered as the Breton sealed a sixth home win of the season. <laughs> Gangon found themselves chasing a game once again when Ronnie Rodin's header looped in to give Khan the lead with 11 minutes to play. But for the fourth week running, the Bretons scored in the final 15 minutes to snatch a point. Alexander Mendy was clean through. His effort was cleared off the line, though, but only to Neil Depot. His third goal in four games, securing a third consecutive draw. The weather was torrential in Bordeaux, but it was soon raining goals. Mendy Abed with a fierce strike that seemed to catch the goalkeeper out. That rocket coming a minute from halftime, giving Bordeaux 15 minutes to stew on it. But they hit back just three minutes into the second half. Diego Roland scoring in consecutive home matches. But Dijon reacted positively with Julio Tavares benefiting from Luis Dione's strength, skill and awareness. And it remained 2-1 until substitute Francois Camano ended the visitors' hopes of victory. The ex Bastia forward, though, wasn't finished there. Jeremy Menez worked out the frustration of missing a penalty last weekend with a terrific Maisie run. And his deflected shot fell to the unmarked Camano to seal the win. <laughs> Nicola Pepe scored a stunning first top flight goal in drawing at Rennes last weekend. And the young Ivorian hit the back of the net in consecutive matches to give Angers the lead over Saint Etienne. Oliver were on the hunt for a first league win in four, and a collector's item set them on their way. Florentin Pogba with his second ever league on goal, two and a half years after the first. And after being one of the misfiring fours to be singled out by coach Christophe Gauthier, Osan Tanan fired back in the best possible manner. His first of the season securing all three points. Mess caught Lorient napping just 11 minutes in, something Simon Fallet couldn't be accused of. Razor sharp in the box to score a goal he's unlikely to forget in a hurry. But Bernard Cassoni has brought some belief back to Lorient, and they were level just five minutes later. Najid Juarez finally off the mark for the season. Well, Mess hadn't beaten Lorient at home in the top flight since 1999. That looked like being continued as Benjamin McCanjo finished off a lovely passage of play. 
and the game looked all wrapped up when the striker scored for the spot, celebrating his 150th league and appearance in style. But Philip Hirschberger threw on Thibaut Vion, and the 22-year-old scored inside a minute, entering the fray, his first ever Ligue 1 goal. And soon it was three all as Vion stole the headlines, two crosses, two headers, all in three minutes of action to leave Lorient stunned. Montpellier had the chance to pull away from the relegation dogfight when they hosted Nancy, but found the woodwork in their way. Stefan Sessignon denied with a long-range deflected effort before Riyad Buzbuz cracked the crossbar after a smartly worked corner. Sessegnon saw red before Youssef Eit Benassar missed when clean through as it finished goalless. A clash between Nantes and Lille would not normally be associated with a relegation six-pointer, but the tagline highlights the struggles both sides have faced this season. Remy Rio tipping Sebastian Corsia's long-range effort wide. The non-captain then kept out Yassin Benzia as both keepers kept a first clean sheet in six league matches. 26 goals over week 14, and no surprise that Monaco were the side to score the most. That's now 43 goals in just 14 league matches as they and PSG took advantage of Nice's inability to beat Bastia. The Côte d'Azur side remained top of the tree, but their lead has been sliced to just one point between the Ligue 1 menage a trois. Rennes are fourth, eight points adrift of the podium. There's six points just between them and Angers in 10th. Mess were the only side in the bottom half to move up and the only goal difference is stopping them placing higher. Lorient with a valuable point, but still five adrift of safety. Lille still in trouble, but just three points from 14th place, Dijon. Liga returns in midweek, week 15 starting on Tuesday night. Once more, Monaco can take advantage of playing first away at Dijon before Nice travel to Gangon. PSG hosts Angers on Wednesday. <laughs>